Hi guys, thank you for clicking play. Welcome to episode 11 of Glory Glory Tottenham Hotspur. Today we take on Napoli in the first leg of the Champions League last 16. We have one new loan signing to show you, one loan departure as well as a couple of results after the intro. And there's no real disguise, Gascoigne shooting and Gascoigne gloriously scoring. So the loan out is Vincent Janssen. He has joined Galatasaray on loan until the end of the season. Reason being, every time Vincent Janssen, apart from the goal against Bradford in the FA Cup, he came on or he started the match, there was no real impact on the game. So I thought, I need players who are going to make an impact. And unfortunately, Vincent couldn't offer that. One man who has offered an impact in our new loan signing, George Kevin Augustine, on loan from Red Bull Leipzig until the end of the season. He has scored already. You'll see who that was against in a second. Potential to be a five-star player. We have got a clause in the loan agreement that we can buy him for £44.5 million. Pounds. So, you know, it was a test the water one. See how he gets on for the rest of the season. And we'll make a decision then whether to take up that option or not. So after the result in the last game against Arsenal, we took on Bournemouth at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. As you can see, we won by two goals to nil. Harry Kane with the goal in the first half. John Kevin Augustine scored his goal on 75 minutes to wrap up the win against Bournemouth. It was a bit tetchy. We were struggling, but we put the disappointment of the Arsenal defeat behind us with a 2-0 win over Bournemouth. We then travelled to St James's Park for a topsy-turvy match with Newcastle. Harry Kane put us in front on 19 minutes. Matt Ritchie equalised for Newcastle on 24. Christian Eriksen put us back in front on 26. Moussa Dembele made it 3-1 on 68. And Alex Muller pulled one back for Newcastle in the 92nd minute. Thankfully, they did not find another one as we left St James's Park with all three points. And last time out, Harry Kane scored a hat-trick as we demolished Liverpool in the fifth round of the FA Cup. Goals in 26, 61 and 71 minutes. As you can see, Liverpool had a disastrous day at the office as they bowed out of the FA Cup. You will see who will play in round six in a sec. So starting with that FA Cup sixth round draw it is a home match with Everton that lies in wait. In the Premier League, we are still in sixth place. We have picked up two wins in the Premier League since the defeat by Arsenal. We are still five points behind Chelsea, but Chelsea have a much more difficult end to the season than we do. We've got themselves and Manchester United to play. That is it. Chelsea, I think, have got to play three out of the five around them. But it's Napoli we concentrate on today in the Champions League. Let's take a look at the match preview. So, taking a look at the match preview, we are 6-4. to four. Napoli are 13-8 to eight to win this first leg at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Four wins from five for us, three wins from five to Napoli. So, both teams quite evenly matched. Team news, Juan Foyth is unregistered, as is Denis Suarez. Mususoko is out injured. There are three players out injured. They don't specify who they are. Marek Hamsik is doubtful with a broken foot. So let's take a look at the two starting lineups. Starting with ourselves, we start with Hugo Lloris in goal, Serge Aurier, Toby Adewero, Davison Sanchez, Danny Rose, Harry Winks, Christian Eriksen, Lucas Moura, Tom Rogic, Sun Hung Ming with Harry Kane up front. Napoli start with Ospina in goal, Heisen, Mazumovic, Kabala, Rui, Diara, Zelinski, Kalion, Fabian, Insigni, with Dries Mertens up front. So it's always important to get off on the right foot in the Champions League knockout stages. A first leg win or a first leg positive result, if nothing else, is a must. Eriksen with the free kick. Sends it back post. Sanchez heads in. There we go. That's the perfect start after nearly six minutes. Davison Sanchez puts us a goal up. And it's very simple from Christian Eriksen towards the back post. Goalkeeper misses it. Davison Sanchez hints, heads into the empty net. 1 0 Tottenham Hotspur. And he's not offside. Been well onside. Lucas Mora will pick up the loose ball. Sends it into the box. Harry Kane heads towards goal and heads over the bar. 
Can he get the ball over? Yes, he can. Harry Kane is there. Where are you? Rogic saved by Ospina. Looking down the line for Sun. He's got on the end of it. Can he get the crossover? Yes, he can. Harry Kane doesn't get there. Eriksen into Lucas Moura. Shoots. Saved by the keeper. And it's eventually cleared. He goes on. Fabian saved by Lloris. And picks up the rebound. Thank Christ. Oh, yeah. Diwara heads on. Mertens plays it into Fabian. He's got a man over Calderon, and he's equalised. That hadn't really been coming. That's a bit undeserved, I think. Although on the statistics, it's been a bit level pegging, I suppose. I'm being a bit biased. It all comes from our throwing. We give the ball away. We do not follow people across. Danny Rose, I have no idea what he's doing. He's getting a bust by the looks of it. And Calderon puts it into the net. And that's one all. And Ericsson will get us on the move. Looking towards Harry Kane. There are three of them with him. Sun's on the overlap. If he can find him, he'll go alone. Saved by the keeper. And Lucas Moura has picked up an injury right on half time. Which could not have come at a worse time, really. So Eric Lamella is going to come on. He's had a bit of an injury layoff. But he's back. He is fit and ready to go. And he's on for the second half. And that is half time. So we started positively. We probably should have had more than one before Calron puts Napoli level. We have had to make a change. They've had to make a change as well. Fabian has gone off. Probably in the same incident it looks like as Lucas Mora. So who will win the second half? Let's find out. He goes to the byline. Can he get the ball over? Yes, he can. Lamella comes in. Oh, Spina with a save. What a chance right at the start of the second half. And they've taken the ball away. Mertens. This is where Napoli are looking dangerous at the moment. As they play it across. Insignis at the far post. He's thrown on goal. And Hugo Lloris has made a brilliant save. To keep it at 1-1. We might need to try and counteract this a little bit. Let's whip the ball into the box. Let's try and keep Napoli guessing. Right, let's take a look at our second change, shall we? It's going to be Tom Rogic to come off. It's going to be Delhi Alley to come on in his place. Let's have a look at another change. It's going to be Christian Eriksen to come off with Musa Dembele to come on in his place. Let's send Harry Winks forward, see if he can get involved in the action. Winks, wide to Sun. Have a run at him, Sonny. Go on, keep going, keep going. Oh, it's a penalty. Yes. Well run, that man. Harry Kane has the chance to put us back in front to give us a vital 2-1 lead. And he's put it in the bottom corner. I thought Ospina was going to save it. But he hasn't. Harry Kane's 23rd goal of the season. And we're back in front with quarter of an hour to play. Calmly done. I should have expected nothing less, really. Right in the corner. 2-1 Tottenham. And we're going to go back to balanced. We're going to take our foot off the gas a little bit. Rose into Winks again. Rose. Cross it, Danny. Son, yes! Good boy. Goodness gracious me, we made a meal of that. But that is a wonderful finish from Sun Hyung Min. And that gives us a 3-1 advantage. It's good tippy-tappy play. A bit fractious. Danny Rose fires it across. Sun fires it into the net. Ospina had no chance from six yards at all. 3-1 Tottenham. Can Rose get the ball into the box? He can into Sun. Deli Alley's on the edge of the box and over the bar. That should have been four. Lamella sends it over the top looking for Kane. Oh, he's missed it, the defender. Harry Kane is in behind and tries to chip him. And probably should have just hit it along the ground. Ospina sends it long. Oh, Toby's missed it. And Mertens is in behind. Could it be costly? No, Hugo Lloris with the save. People are getting sloppy at the end of this game. Serge Aurier has picked up a knock. What's happened to him? Thigh injury, right. Harry Winks is going to right back for the last couple of minutes. Not a natural position for him, as you can see. Deli Ali's going into midfield. What we have, we hold with 10 men. Calderon plays it into Mertens. Get back, Harry. Defend, and it's over the bar from Mertens. Ospina sends it long. And that is that. 3-1, the first leg lead going to Italy. A goal for Davis and Sanchez. A goal for Harry Kane and a goal for Sung Hyun Min. Jose Calderon with the reply. But it's a 3-1 lead we take to Italy.
and that's very good from the boys. A 3-1 lead going to Italy. Admittedly, we could have had more, but we'll settle for three. We probably should have had maybe four. Obviously, Deli Ali's one right at the end. And it's good to see a reaction from the Arsenal game. We made a few tweaks in the tactics. I thought tactically we were being a bit more naive. So the pitch is a bit wider. So we play a bit wider. And it seems to have done the trick since the Arsenal game. That's four wins on the bounce to try and get us back in the Champions League race. Obviously, we could win the Champions League itself. And then qualifying for it won't be a problem. But that's maybe a bridge too far for little old Tottenham Hotspur. If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and would like to do so, please click the subscribe button down in the corner. That was episode 11 of Glory, Glory, Tottenham Hotspur. It was a glory, glory night at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. 3-1 win over Napoli. Lovely job. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.